Hello guys, now in this particular video, we are going to learn about the SCP command. Okay, so basically this command is used to copy the files from one host to the uh, another host. That is, uh, in our previous video, uh, we had created the virtual machine and uh, today we will work on that particular thing. So basically in this video, we will create one virtual machine and we will uh, share the file or move file from this machine, from this Ubuntu machine to that particular remote machine. Okay. So we will do this with the SCP command. So let's start the video. I'll, first of all, we will need to create a virtual machine. So on this particular URL, you can go like uh, learn microsoft.com and uh, intro to Azure virtual machine. Then you here you will get the sandbox and you will get the access of one hour of Azure portal. So you don't need to pay any amount of money for creating virtual machine or anything. Okay. So we will wait for some time. Uh, it will just take uh, hardly 10 seconds now. Okay, let's wait. 92, 93, 4, okay, 100. Okay, so here you can see 59 minutes. So it's basically we get access for one hour. So now come down and just click on this Azure portal. Now here you will get the interface and uh, Maybe uh, you will need to sign in with your Microsoft account then and only then you will get the access. Okay, it's taking some time. Let's wait. Okay, here we go. Now here you will see the virtual machine. You have to just click on it. Virtual machine. And uh, you will need to just go on create and click on this Azure virtual machine. Sometime, yeah. Here you have to just select your resource group and virtual machine name. I will just uh, use this name Linux VM and the username and password. So I will write the username as Ayush and the password I will write. Sorry. Okay, again enter the password. Okay, password match. So here SSS 2022 port is allowed. So basically SCP command runs on this particular port by default. Okay, so uh, next you will do, but here you we don't have to change any kind of settings and all. It will be def uh, by default, it will be same. Okay, we don't need to change anything okay here we go now what do you have to do you have to just click on review plus create it will take uh, approx one minute of time uh, okay till now i pause the video okay guys so here you can see the validation is passed so now we have to just click on this create button so it will just create a virtual machine and we will get the public IP address of that particular machine and we will use that particular IP address to connect with this machine and uh, the whatever the username and password we have provided while creating this virtual machine we will uh, use that one to connect to this particular remote host so let's wait for some time it will just hardly take a uh, two to three minutes of time okay so deployment is in progress let's wait Okay, so till now, uh, till then I just uh, give you the overview of what is the SCP command. So already I have told you like this com command is used to like uh, copy the uh, file from one host to remote host. So here basically this machine is my uh, physical host, physical machine you can say and the machine to which I will connect like this uh, virtual machine that will be the my remote host. So I will use this command to share file from this machine to another machine. So there are also some many of uh, uh, options we use for fast transfer for getting information while transferring. We will use all those particular functions. So here anyway, you can see the deployment is complete. Now we have to just click on go to resource and we, we will get the particular public IP address. And uh, here it will show. Yeah, here. Here is the public IP address. First of all, what I will do, I will just uh, uh, try to connect to that particular machine using the credential which we had provided in while creation. 
I hope the terminal is visible to you. Just uh, SSH and whatever the username Ayush and the IP address. Okay, so you have just uh, write yes. It will uh, permission denied. Public okay. I don't know. Let me just close the terminal and again I will open up. SSH Ayush at the rate IP address okay password it's asking me for password hit enter okay now I hope I have entered correct address uh, correct password okay okay so now here you can see the uh, whatever the host name we had added like Linux VM and the Ayush is the username okay so if I will do uh, clear the screen and I will write who am I so here you can see the uh, Username is Ayush and uh, also you can see this hostname has been changed from Linux VM uh, From Ayush to Linux VM I think let me again open up one terminal and here you can see Ayush virtual box is there Okay, so this one is my Remote machine. I just add one comment here Remote Machine and uh, I will just provide the IP address Okay, so this is the like comment we use hash for writing the comment in this Linux terminal now moving forward and uh, now the use of the SAP command uh, comes here if we have a file suppose I have to just create one file let me create one file with the name of uh, cat test.txt and I will just uh, not test uh, I will write some another cat uh, remote file dot txt and I will write something like this uh, file is being sent from Ayush physical machine control D to save now we have to use the SCP command so basically SCP what it stands for it basically stands for secure copy so you will send the file using uh, port uh, like 2022 it basically by default it uses port 2022 and also our this machine accepts only port number 22 no other port number it uh, accepts the if request is coming from coming for the some other port number uh, other than 2022 then in that case it will not reply back to that particular host okay so now what we have to do uh, I will just uh, let me do ls so here you can see the remote file.txt is there and let me just clear this screen and scp I will use and I will use uh, hyphen capital C for the faster transfer and the file name that is the remote file.txt and the username I will also need to provide here Ayush at Ayush at the rate and the control shift V and I will need to provide the location where we want to just uh, what we say store that file so I will store this file at this particular location home Ayush and 251 and I will just uh, need to use this colon and uh, sorry okay sorry sorry I just uh, I will need to again write the command so here I have to just uh, use slash home I use okay so here what will happen basically uh, this remote file dot txt will get transferred from this machine to this machine like copy will be transferred so let me just hit enter and it will ask me to enter the password and I will just enter the password okay done so here you can see 100 percent so 0 0.2 kb per second was the speed and uh, let me clear the screen and I will do ls so here you can see the remote file.txt has been uh, like copied into this particular remote host okay uh, like uh, let me uh, just send another file also let me create uh, ayush.txt this is ayush okay control d to save again i will use the same command just change the file name file name to ayush now hit enter again maybe hope it will ask me to enter the password but let's see yeah I will need to enter the password that is Kumar Verma at the rate 098 hash 
hit enter and uh, the file will get copied into that particular location okay it's taking time I don't know why okay now uh, yeah done so I will do again ls here so here you can see ice.txt has been copied now I will just uh, try to read the content of this particular file okay so I think the connection is slow that's why it's lagging okay sorry I have used uh, wrong I have to read this okay okay let me just remove this okay yeah now just hit enter so basically uh, it has overwritten with the like nothing we had written so by this command basically the text was overwritten no problem let me just read the another file we have also transferred another file that is the remote file.txt we can read this okay so here you can see this file is being sent from ice physical machine the same text which we had written in this particular physical machine okay so in this way we can transfer the files from one machine to another machine and also by default the CPU uses AES 128 uh, encryption method to encrypt files while uh, while transit you can say but if you have to use some another method then you can use the hyphen C small option also if you if you want to use some some different port number uh, like if you will need to use then hyphen capital P option okay but by default this machine is accepting only the port number 2022 so if I will use some other port number then in that case it will not uh, uh, what we say it will not accept the request so if I will do hyphen port 234 and I will just try to uh, I will remove the files from this machine okay it's uh, like running slow I don't know maybe it's reason behind is slow connection it may be so I will just remove the ayush.txt file here okay sorry ayush it is there yeah so now file has been removed and now I have used the hyphen p234 and I will use hyphen capital C option and just hit enter so in this in this case you will get uh, like uh, it will not accept the request like it, uh, it will not display anything nothing will happen okay to solve this issue we will need to use just uh, hyphen v option also hyphen small v that is just used for getting the default information okay hopefully we will get okay, it's not uh, connecting to this port number yeah because port number is not open that port number is not open in this machine that's why so if I will use uh, just port number 2022 and we have used the wrong command also hyphen p 2022 hyphen c small hyphen v and now hit enter and here you got the all the information so now you have to just enter the password but ever again ever we will see the information like connecting to this particular IP address on port 2022 enter the password so done next okay sending command sending file modes I should take 15 compressed outgoing raw data this uh, compressed to this uh, so while transit transit what happens whatever the amount of whatever the size of your file will get compressed and then again it will whenever we it will reach to the remote machine it will uh, like uh, stored in the original form so again if I do ls here so you will get the ice.txt file okay so uh, now let's do with uh, different port number let's see what happens to do to do actually total port number in network we use are approx 65535 are the total port numbers for so I've just still it told about this for your information only so here you will see connecting to this uh, particular IP and the port uh, then you can see the port and after this nothing will happen because uh, this machine is not uh, accepting any port number 
other than port 2022 so it will not happen anything it will go in the infinite loop you can say and bus uh, like we just need to hit control c so basically in this way uh, you can use the scp command to share files from one machine to another machine remotely or uh, or also you can say like there are two remote machines are there then and only then you can use this particular command so that's all for this today's video and i hope you liked it if you have any queries then you can ask us in the comment section so thank you thank you for watching and we will meet in the next one thank you